Hi, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be showing you how I do these loose waves through my hair. So I've just washed my hair um, today, I'm two weeks post relaxer, well two weeks and about two days. And when I do my hair, usually if you've seen any of my other videos, I really like to curl the ends of my hair. This is for a few reasons. I like the finish of a curl, I think it looks can look really nice. Also. I find it easier to maintain my hair when it's got a curl in it because I'm not constantly trying to make it look dead straight. So when it, the curls eventually fall out and it's got a natural wave, you kind of don't notice um, the kinks in your hair and stuff like that from sleeping on it um, if you've got curls in your hair. And also I find wrapping easier if I'm just trying to maintain a wave or a curl style. Also. Um, quite a while ago now I bleached the under section of my hair so my hair is actually at different lengths and I find that this blends a lot better and looks a lot nicer with a curl from my hair because then you can't see the uneven layers that are in my hair at the moment and that I'm kind of on a bit of a hair journey of growing those layers out. So I'm going to show you how I curl my hair. So I've really done this side, you can see my hair is nice and shiny. Um, it just gives it that extra kind of body to to my hair. So I'm going to curl my hair in three sections, the bottom section, a mid section and the top section. So I'll start by just dividing this bottom section and if you see me glance over it's just because I've got a mirror here just to kind of help me. And I clip up the top section top sections out of the way and off this bottom section on um, obviously this is just half of my head I'll probably go ahead and do this in three parts so I put these two parts over my shoulder just to get them out of the way I'll comb through and with this part I curled away from my face and I'm going to do the same with these sections over here and with these bottom parts you can curl quite high up your hair and I kind of just twist it round and I'll leave that there and so I've got two other sections here that I'm going to work with so let's just part them quite equally and I like to wear the top section of my hair straight and just have the curls through the ends so that's kind of what I'm doing here as well but obviously you can't see the roots at this point so you can make your curl a bit higher and that will just give more body to your hair And you just kind of want to let your curls to be able to cool down for as long as possible without you interrupting them. So I just let them just rest on me there and they can cool down and that will hopefully set the curl. So then I go for this midsection and I'm actually going to, you can part your hair into as many sections as you want. So this chunk of hair isn't that big, so I'm going to kind of part this in two. And what's important with the pieces around the front is that they're not curled up too high. You really want to make sure that it's sleek so it's going to show how it's going to sit next to your face. And I want them, the curls to start kind of around my jawline. So that's what you're aiming for when you're doing this. And I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of this so you can see the result.
can see the curls kind of start around my jawline area and this is the last piece and this is it's always important to pay the extra bit of attention to how your face is framed so I'm working with just a small chunk to do this piece I'm going to take quite small sections and just curl them there. This is the same, this will be a full curl. And this one a lot lower down there. Just miss this one. And that is done. So just play with my hair. Just make sure that everything's curled the way it should be thank you so much for watching um, and catch me in the next video like comment and if you're not already subscribe to my channel so I know that I'm making the right kind of videos for you thanks bye